Hi everyone, uh, this video is just kind of an orientation for how the class works, just to give you uh, the basic format, what you need to do, uh, how you need to do it, and some just highlights of places on the page that you need to know how to find. So first, let me just explain a little bit about how the class works. Uh, basically, I've corralled a whole bunch of information um, that you need to read. So reading is a huge part of the course. Um, in many courses, the way that uh, reading is policed is there's a lot of quizzes, a lot of stuff. I, I don't do a whole lot of that. Instead, there's an interactive element. Each week's forums will kind of get you to respond to some of the stuff that you've dealt with in the readings. And then later throughout the course, we have um, live discussions through Blue Jeans, which you only have to come to two. Um, but they're an opportunity to meet other people in the class and to discuss the material. So in both of those ways, we're getting you to interact with the material, and that's you know the closest way that I can kind of get you to engage with the stuff that maybe you're not as excited about, but also to kind of see where you're struggling and what, um, what things might be beneficial for me to address uh, in particular. And so the way that works is, is that um, every uh, Thursday by 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, you have to have your first forum post submitted. In order to do your forum post, you'll have to have done your reading. So that's what you're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday during the day. So you do your reading, you post to the forum. Your second post, your second required post, is a response to somebody else in the course. That's due on Sundays, 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Those are non-negotiable. All of your assignments will be due um, on thir all your forum first forum posts will be on Thursdays, and all your second forum posts and all other assignments are due each week, 11:59 Pacific Standard Time on Sundays. So, you'll go, um, you'll post, you'll post again. Um, feel free to uh, if Moodle has a way to upload videos if you'd like. That's great. On Mondays, I'll be responding uh, to individual posts. So I'm not going to be in the forums typing. Instead, I'm going to be reading them. And then on Mondays, I'm going to give direct responses, um, either a series of short videos or maybe one video that hits like a major issue that's, that's going on in the forums. And that way, you'll get some personal feedback as you go through. And I'll make some comments um, about ways that you can be thinking to help improve for the course and just uh, hopefully your own theological reflection. The other component um, of the course are my micro lectures. You'll notice that micro lectures um, typically run between five and ten minutes apiece. They're micro. They're meant to be short and sweet so that you don't have to spend a whole lot of time on each one. Um, I'd like you to, to watch them all. I don't expect that you probably will, but uh, hopefully they give you um, two different types of information. The first is like general background. So if we're going to talk about um, you know, creation, then I'll have a lecture that kind of gives you the background of maybe the Christian doctrine of creation, how that's come about. Then there's also going to be specific lectures that are aimed at fleshing out particular um, readings. And so uh, for this first week, I have a lecture on um, Stanley Hauerwas's article on Watership Down, and that's going to talk a little bit about the church, what church is like, so you can check that out. Um, course checklist. Make sure, uh, this is the second major thing, so the first thing, how the course works. Thursdays, Sundays, video, uh, micro lectures and readings. That's the, the major um, day to day. The second thing is course checklist. I have a number of tutorials on how to find research. Um, check those out. Make sure you find the e-reserves. They're on the uh, right hand side of the page on the bottom of the page make, or uh, towards the middle. Make sure you find e-reserves because a lot, a lot of your required reading is there and a lot of my specific um, reading tailored lectures are going to be about those readings. Um, I've selected them because they've been a lot to me. I've selected them because hopefully they'll give you different perspectives, stuff that you maybe hadn't thought about or expected, and can give you a different way of approaching some of our um, topics. I may add some stuff over the course, so make sure that you don't uh, just you don't don't skip over that first section in, on the middle page and 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 pay attention to the the uh, the margins because different things might pop up uh, as we go through. Major um, question that we always get is about grades. Forums are not currently graded. Um, the grading that goes on in the forums will be my reading what you write and responding to it. If I find that um, you're just, if, if I don't think there's like substantial subs, uh, discussion going on, then I'll kind of come in and police a little bit. But in general, I just want to see that you're reading and then responding to the reading, and hopefully in ways that will impact your community of faith. So that's my major goal. And if I see that happening, great. Just uh, just keep posting, and, uh, and and if I don't see it happening, then I'll I'll contact you individually. So um, the other major big big project is your final research paper. 
I touch on that a little bit in another lecture this week. Um, if you have specific questions, please let me know. The good news for you is that there's also a rough draft due on week nine. Um, so week nine rough draft is due, and that's a, I, I ask for a thousand words, but great news for you. If you would like to finish this course early, you can, uh, simply by turning in a complete A-level research paper on week nine for your rough draft. Because everyone turns in a rough draft, I go, I spend the time on uh, week 10 interacting with them, grading, and, and, and if you give me a complete paper, I'll give you a complete grade. I'll say, if this were your final paper today, this is what you'd earn. And if that's good for you, great, you can be done. If it's not, then you have an opportunity, a lo quite a bit of time, to go back, rework everything, and then resubmit as your final paper. You're required to do a thousand words of your final paper, and I'll give you feedback on that and say, if you continued in this vein, this is kind of what you'd get. Here are some things to think about, um, and then you can turn that back in. Great. That's up to you. But the rough draft is a hard deadline, so be prepared for it. That means you're working ahead. Um, and if you turn that thing in, like I said, uh, you can be really comfortable with your grade and know what you're doing before the course officially ends. Um, as uh, on that note, resubmissions on the theological textual analysis and on the rough draft, I do allow resubmits. Um, so if you turn in your uh, TTA and you're not happy with it, uh, it's okay. Um, you can rework it and I'll accept it at any, t at any time. Um, typically, I don't allow, um, I don't regrade into the A range. So if you turn in a C and then you turned in, you resubmitted and it's an A level, I still would only give you a B plus just because I don't want to you know, wreck the curve for people who um, really excel the first time around. But the, the goal is to make sure that you're not um, just, you don't get blown out and don't have a chance to recover. I don't want anyone to come away from this course. Um, if, you, if you get the skills uh, the, that the course uh, seeks to develop, then you should get a, a good grade. Maybe not an A, but at least a decent grade. So those are my course policies. Um, that's kind of how the course works. If you have any questions, um, let me know. All right, thanks.